Good morning everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, obviously as you can see I'm not in Lakeside, I'm in our kitchen um, and the reason being I've got a an array of stuff in front of me um, which is nothing to do with railways as such but it's to do with um, how I record um, or how I will be recording, what shall I say. Um, I've decided that I really should up my game um, as regards the videoing uh, of Lakeside. Um, the thing is that I don't just do video recordings of my model, well, my model railway. Um, I do many other videos too, which you guys just don't see. Um, so I wanted to improve quite a bit the videoing aspect. And that includes the video itself plus the um, microphones um, which I've used. So let's crack on. I will show you, I'll move the camera um, and I will show you what I've got in front of me here and uh, explain the process. Okay, so sorry, nothing to do with railways as such, um, but more to do with the recording. Okay, so I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, bye for now. Bye. Hello again. Right, um, so as you can see here, um, I've got a selection of um, bits and pieces for uh, video recording. Now obviously the one bit missing is the actual video recorder, but that of course is there recording me. Um, but uh, there's two parts to this really, that's well, <laughs> two video recorders. Um, one which I'm recording now and my iPhone. Um, now I use the iPhone a lot for um, doing videos. Um, it's a great video camera. Um, it goes up to 4K and the quality on it is just absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm really, really happy with this iPhone. Um, and uh, I use this probably more than I do the actual camcorder. Um, when I went to Norway last year for two weeks, I took everything on this. Uh, I didn't take another camera with me at all. I used this purely as the phone um, and the video recorder as, as well. And I just got stunning results on that. So, let's go back to square one. Why am I doing this? Well. I've had several notifications from people that um, not so much the video quality but the sound quality was not great and I was querying this and um, personally I couldn't find anything wrong to be honest with you. Um, some were saying that it was too quiet, they couldn't hear me um, but that's beside the point. The fact is that some people were um, noticing for whatever reason, um, that the quality wasn't great. Um, now, when you are videoing with this, the iPhone, all you're reliant upon is the microphone inside the iPhone, which again is okay up to a point. Um, but of course the problem is that if you're in a windy situation or even if there's a light breeze, you do get the sound of the wind coming through into the microphone, <clears throat> which is not good. The second reason is that the video camera which I'm using at the moment is probably about six years old now. Um, and it started to develop a few little problems in that um, the screen itself is a little bit loose. Uh, after all the years of use um, and also I've noticed I'm getting a slight clicking noise every now and again I don't know if it's because it, the camera gets warm um, but for whatever reason it started to develop a clicking noise which again a few people have commented on I don't know at this point in time whether there is a clicking noise going on or not until I play it back um, but however I thought, you know what, this is not going to last too much longer. 
so I thought, okay, I will invest in some new equipment. So the new equipment is a new video camera, camcorder, which is very similar to the one I'm using at the moment. It's a Panasonic, uh, it's a VXF1, and um, it will shoot in 4K, whereas this one doesn't shoot in 4K, it's only 1080p. Um, so you know, I will have at least that option um, to uh, shoot in 4K, should I need to. This shoots in 4K, um, so I'm all set up really now. Um, well, so I'm all set. The video camera hasn't actually arrived yet. It should be arriving latter part of next week. Um, but what I have done is that I've gone ahead and I've bought the bits and pieces here in readiness for the camera to arrive, and also I can use. The microphones here with the iPhone. I have done so much research on this. It's unbelievable. I've been probably about two weeks, maybe even three weeks, researching, researching, researching on the best, the cheapest, the most expensive, the worst uh, kinds of microphone you can attach as a supplementary microphone to any existing microphone, either on here. Or on the video recorder and this really is what it's all about I'm short of two things at the moment <clears throat> both are on order both are waiting delivery uh, one is the one I mentioned was the actual video camera uh, the camcorder and the other one is a lav mic uh, to go on a lapel uh, and into the transmitter and receiver of the Wi-Fi microphone, which I will get onto. So let's put the iPhone away for the moment. Um, in the end, I settled for the Rode Go Wi-Fi microphone. And it consists of two little tiny boxes. You can see the size of them, less than the, far less than the size of a cigarette packet. Um, probably that's the size of a cigarette packet there. Uh, so it gives you some idea. So one is a transmitter and one is a receiver. And the transmitter is this one here. And as you can see, it's got a tiny microphone just there. And this clips to your shirt, uh, just like a uh, lapel mic or a lab mic. Um, it has a clip just there. So that clips to your shirt and you can either have it going inside the shirt or outside the shirt. It makes no difference. <clears throat> um, it has uh, several functions to it. It's got the on off button obviously and this pairs with the receiver which fits onto your camera. Um, and again, it has a clip on the back so you can just clip it to the handle or wherever. Um, but the very, very thoughtful design of this, and this is one of the reasons why I chose it, was that that clip there is the perfect size for slotting into the hot shoe of the camera. So it's in the perfect position for uh, holding it onto the camera. So they are the two bits of work, if you like, to uh, give you a good um, sound from a mic. <coughs> Excuse me. Either using the internal mic, should you wish, or you can plug in a external mic here, uh, which is a lab mic. So that can go in your pocket, or you can have the cable coming up through your shirt and attach it as normal. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I should have had a drink of water. Um, so that really takes care of the transmission and the receiver of the mic. Now, should you use the um, built-in mic, 
it does come complete with a little furry effort which you can clip onto the mic like so which stops the wind noise I've tried this and it works believe me <coughs> so I'm going to switch off and get a drink of water for a moment so bear with me right sorry about that um, so what we have now is the operating part for the transmitter and the receiver for the microphone now if you want to connect this to your camera if you've got an ordinary camcorder it comes complete with a cable which goes into on the transmitter it goes plugs into the hill if I can find it there it is plugs into that and then that plugs into your camcorder into the microphone socket um, and that's it that's basically all there is to it and then all you have to do is to switch it on with this power button hold it and you get the sign come up so it's on you power up the <coughs> transmitter and you can now see that when I speak it's actually receiving the signal from my voice and then it will also obviously then go into the camera so it's as simple as that that just gets clipped to my shirt no wires that gets clipped to the camcorder no wires job done that really takes care of the process for the um, fitting to a ordinary camcorder now on the bottom of the receiver is <clears throat> a little button here which gives you a decibel gain so it's got three positions low medium and high so that's zero minus six and minus twelve and you press that um, to whatever position you want and I keep this on low so that it stops any extraneous sounds coming through so it, if you've got traffic passing by it won't pick that up or well it probably will pick it up it will make it quite distant um, and just there is a USB C socket for charging and it comes with two cables one for the transmitter and one for the receiver <clears throat> so you can charge them both up at the same time it has a built-in rechargeable battery in each one and they last for about seven hours from full charge it also has the facility so that if you go over that you can obviously use that cable to plug in and use the USB for charging at the same time so you can use these even if the battery is low um, but you obviously are going to have to have a cable attached to it I doubt to be honest with you that I'm going to be recording seven hours on the trot so uh, that scenario won't happen so that takes care of let's unplug that that takes care of the recording to a straightforward camcorder now the tricky bit <clears throat> when you're using a, a, a tablet or a mobile phone you can't use that cable um, for various reasons um, but on the iPhone obviously it only has a lightning connector at the bottom so you've got to get sound into this via that lightning connector the way you do that is by getting a lightning connector to a 3.5 mil jack connector at the bottom 
on some phones that this will come with the phone sometimes they don't <clears throat> I decided to get an aftermarket version because I don't like the Apple connector it's very weak and flimsy uh, this one's got a braided cable to it and it's made out of metal rather than plastic um, so what you do you first of all connect the lightning connector into the iPhone so you just got the 3.5 jack at the end then you have to get a patch connector now the reason why you have to get this is that most connectors which go in here are TRS so that is a plug which has got the two bands to it here what you need is one which has got three bands let's just get it in focus which is a TRRS socket if you try and plug that into your iPhone you won't get any sound <clears throat> so you need a TRS this one to a TRRS so it's from the two little black bands you see there going to three so the one with the three which is colored gray that connects into there and then this one connects into here. Now, if I switch on my phone, and go to camera and video. Silly me, I've plugged it into the wrong one. Right, so now what is happening is that this is now sending a signal into the phone via that one. So I've now got sound coming from the microphone into the phone. Is that right? Yes it is. So if I'm on if I'm shooting now, um, the camera obviously is inbuilt within the phone and the sound is separate using this. So again I can it's exactly the same process. So I can either use that as it is or I can use the um, lav mic connected to it so it would be a case of me then popping the mic into the hole and connecting it up and if I just change that over <clears throat> and now I've got a separate mic, this one here, um, which will fit onto my shirt. It all sounds very messy and um, complicated, but in actual fact it's not. It's very easy. It takes a couple of minutes to set it up. So that gives me then the facility to video on my iPhone and use an external mic. And the great thing about this is that on whether it's on the um, camcorder or on here, this little unit has a 70 yard or sorry, 70 meter range. So I can be 70 meters away and um, it will still pick me up absolutely clear as anything <clears throat> because it's not reliant on the microphone being on the camera 
it's relying on how close that is to my uh, face so it can be on my lapel here that will, distance will always stay the same so I can walk 70 meters away and it will be as clear as anything <clears throat> again I have tried this I've walked all the way down the garden which is a, a good 70 meters um, and it's absolutely fine I don't lose any sound at all so <clears throat> what I've got now and you have to remember that well you probably ask me so why do I need all this just for videoing the model railway but I don't um, but as I said initially the um, videos I do are not specifically for the model railway I do a hell of a lot of other videos which you guys don't see um, and uh, you know they're shared between people who I want to share them with friends and family and just as a recording for us here at home um, so that's one of the reasons one of the many reasons why I've wanted to get <clears throat> this particular setup and this is greatly going to enhance um, what I'm going to be doing so what I'm going to do now um, I'm going to uh, the other thing I've had for quite a while is a gimbal um, for the iPhone a terrific piece of kit and uh, it makes a steady shooting um, and it's got its own little tripod which you can screw on the end here so you can just open that out and stand that like so and you can shoot um, exactly the same as what I'm doing here now using the iPhone so what I will do I will set the phone up and I will carry on with the rest of the video to give you a demonstration of the uh, iPhone and the use of this as well okay so I will stop now using the ordinary camcorder and use the iPhone instead and then we can see what the difference is like. Okay, so I'll speak to you in a minute once I've set this up. Right, hello again. Um, so this time we're using the iPhone to record and um, the lab mic here. Um, and. Uh, Hopefully the sound is coming out okay. Um, what I'll do in a minute, um, I'm just having a cup of coffee. Um, what I'll do in a minute, I'll take the iPhone outside and um, I'll put the wind muffler on, uh, this thing, that. Um, I'll put that on here um, and we'll see what it's like outside. Um, it's quite a breeze out there today. And uh, so I'll melt the iPhone on a table somewhere outside and I'll walk away and you can get the idea of what the sound is like as I'm walking away and gives you the range of the um, mic uh, between the mic and the receiver. Okay so I will do that uh, after I've had my coffee. Okay so bye for now. So this is a test with the iPhone and the Rode microphone attached to here and you can see the wind muffler just there. Okay, so let's see how far we go. We're walking past the pond on the left and the thatch seating area on the right. Going down towards the weeping silver birch just here and then going into the woodland and you probably can't see me now <clears throat> but if I go around the circuit I would have disappeared but hopefully the voice would still be picking me up so we're coming back out through the woodland area And back up the garden again.
and approaching the fish pond. And back to the camera. Uh, so hopefully that's given you a good idea. I have no idea how it's come out. I don't know whether uh, the um, microphone broke up as I went back there because I have my back to the receiver. Um, so let's see how it goes. Uh, the next thing I'll do, I'll try it with my camcorder and see how that goes. Okay, so let's see you in a minute. Hello again. Right, this time this is going to be with the standard camcorder which I normally use uh, rather than the iPhone. So we'll see how the camcorder works and obviously with the microphone as well. Okay, so we'll do the same test again. Now this time what I will do is to go down through the woodland like I did before and then I'll go behind where Lakeside is uh, so it's be completely um, out of sight. So down through the woodland again and I've still got my back to you so the microphone is facing from the receiver which is always a good test. There's somebody mowing the lawn. Hopefully you can't pick that up. Coming out of the woodland area. And this time we'll go behind the barn. So the lakeside is above there. And we'll go around here. So the microphone is completely out of sight behind the barn. I'll come back out and I'm hoping that didn't, uh, the sound didn't break up. And I feel really stupid talking to myself. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, that should be the full range of tests um, I need to do. As I said before, this is really for my benefit so that I can do recording in many situations. Um, and I won't use probably hardly any of this um, when I'm up in Lakeside, apart from maybe this. Um, but there we go. So new video recorder coming next Friday, hopefully, or before and um, a lav mic uh, rather than this that will stay in my pocket and I'll have a proper lav mic up here. Hopefully then everybody should be able to hear me without any problem when I'm doing a video on Lakeside. Okay so bye for now and uh, I'll catch you again soon. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a bit boring but I just thought I'd show you that um, I'm trying to make progress on the quality of the videos I do. Okay, so bye for now. Bye.